and a very warm welcome to St. David's Cathedral for Shrine Prayers. We gather near the place that St. David found closeness with God, knowing God best, as Christians have done through the ages, as creating Father, redeeming Son, and life-giving Holy Spirit. We pray that we may also know God's closeness, his compassionate love, and his wise direction in our lives. And so we begin with the collect the special prayer for St. David, who called others to be joyful, to keep the faith, and to be faithful in the little things of life. And so let us pray. God, our Father, you gave St. David to the people of Wales to uphold the faith. Encouraged by his example, may we joyfully hold fast to the things which lead to eternal life, through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be all honour and glory, now and forever. Amen. This morning's scripture reading I've taken from Exodus chapter 15, verses 22 to 27. Then Moses ordered Israel to set out from the Red Sea, and they went into the wilderness of Shur, They went three days in the wilderness and found no water. When they came to Marah, they could not drink the water of Marah because it was bitter. That is why it was called Marah. And the people complained against Moses, saying, What shall we drink? He cried out to the Lord, and the Lord showed him a piece of wood. He threw it into the water, and the water became sweet. There the Lord made for them a statute and an ordinance, and there he put them to the test. He said, If you will listen carefully to the voice of the Lord, your God, and do what is right in his sight, and give heed to his commandments, and keep all his statutes, I will not bring upon you any of the diseases that I brought upon the Egyptians, for I am the Lord who heals you. Then they came to Elim, where there were twelve springs of water and seventy palm trees, and they camped there by the water. Today will be my last shrine prayers from St. David's Cathedral. It is bittersweet, as I and my family hold many different emotions. In 2019, I moved to St. David's with expectation and excitement, nerves and some trepidation, as I began my journey from Ordinan to Curate. Who could have known that the curacy and my time here would become so different to that which we had all anticipated? Eight months into my curacy and the world changed. We have endured and overcome so much in that time, and we have changed. I have changed. My understanding of the world around me has changed. My compassion for other human beings has changed. My own self-knowledge has changed and grown, and I have become a better person and hopefully a better priest for it. What is it, though, about the last two years that has changed me or us? Well, some would say COVID has changed us, but actually I don't believe that COVID has changed us but rather it has changed the world in which we live, which has meant that we have adapted, we've re-evaluated what is important, we've spent time on our own and isolated, we've been able to spend time with God, looking at our innermost being. If there is something good that has come out of COVID, it is the capacity to be alone and to take stock of who we are before re-emerging, having been transformed. As I prepare to leave St. David's and to take my place as servant to the communities of Clowhaddon, Wisson, Walton East, Blatherston, and indeed to the whole of the diocese, I am feeling those same emotions that I felt in 2019. Expectation and excitement, nerves and trepidation, but I am also reminded that we are indeed on a journey, a lifelong pilgrimage. Every step is taken with God by our side, He is a faithful God who is moulding us into the people he wants us to be. 
However, we must allow space for him. We must hold on to the moments of isolation and solitude where we can hear the still, small voice of God. Sometimes the journey is hard. Traipsing up mountains, rocks and sheer cliffs is gruelling. But when we reach the summit, it allows us to see more clearly the bigger picture. And so let us consider the last two years as the gruelling, sometimes terrifying part of a lifelong pilgrimage. It has been hard, but it has also brought clarity. And whilst it has been awful, it may also have had some blessing hidden within it. And it is only with the gift of time and with healing that we might begin to see those blessings. And so to the next part of the lifelong pilgrimage, wherever it might take you. Hold on to those moments spent with God. Hold on to the knowledge that God is faithful and is always walking the journey with you. At the hardest times, he even carries you. It is at those times when we hear him most closely as we allow ourselves to rest in his arms. And so as we spend time listening to the psalm, we spend time pondering those moments where the water goes from being bitter to being sweet. Those times where those things that are hard becomes, become blessings. And so we listen for a few moments to Adrian as they sing our psalm.
And so we pray for ourselves and others who visit this cathedral today. Lord Jesus Christ, St. David's Saviour and Lord, you are the way, the truth and the life. Be our way. Give us grace to follow your lead, courage to persevere when the going is tough and when we stumble let us not be afraid to take hold of your outstretched hand as you offer us a fresh start. Be our truth. Give us your wisdom so we may know how to walk in the paths of honesty and integrity. Be our life. Revive us when we falter, refresh us when we tire, and bring us to share in your risen life now and for all eternity. Amen. We say together the prayer that Jesus taught us in the language of our choice. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. I now invite Adrian to sing a psalm from the Pilgrim's Progress, words by Bunyan. to 
After which I invite you to spend some time in peace, in solitude with your God. And if you're here in the cathedral, I invite you to come for prayer and spend some time also with your God. So let us pray. Almighty God, awaken in us the zeal of your servant David, that we may joyfully follow you in singleness of heart through Jesus Christ our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be amongst you and remain with you always. Amen.